Billy? What are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage, a living legend! Surely you've heard of the man. <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> you okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? So weird. Come on, he's just jerking you around. I suppose I haven't done much to pick up after him. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo, neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just... Think of it as a favor for me? You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. A bird that runs on water? I already found him. There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it! This is gonna bother me all day! Oh. Aha! There we go! It was Sam and Will! What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam? You gotta tell me everything you know about it. You're gonna give me whiplash, son! The Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion. And an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the Gold Cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh... Cloud. For your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? 
Shoko grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. 30 tufts ought to do. Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? Be pretty scummy. I don't know. For male business aside, who strikes me as a total asshole? Interesting. Or maybe your powers of perception weren't honed enough to see through his facade. That's gotta be it. Oh, if only I had found you sooner, I could have saved you from your own vulnerability.
grass I suppose. Well, what do you think? Should we take it back to the cave? You get your hands on that choco grass. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass. This stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, cheeky old... Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, tell me about my father. Hold your chocobo, son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. You prepared to undertake the final trial?
ever loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. Surprise. Well, shoot. You got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, the only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. Hmm, how you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why he'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Listening. You've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help but sing. Hey. Hmm. Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? Why I sing whenever the mood strikes, really. Haven't you ever felt like bursting into song? No, I can't say I have. You've got an ear for music, though. 
I played piano a little when I was younger. My mom taught me. Why, that's lovely. You want to accompany me sometime? Sure. I bet it'd be a lot of fun. Come on. If you like, we can go look for your cat. Really? Oh, what a relief. <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. All this talk of cats makes me. something over there let's go Anymore where this came from, so dig in. Leave him alone. Easy.
almost over. Fluffy and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on. started coming down off the mountain. Huh. I guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. That's probably why she never came back here. What is it? Fluffy? After him. Oh, welcome. I'm afraid the staff is on break at the moment. If you're looking for Christine, You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on their arms. Why, look who it is. Oh, my little baby. I'm so glad you're okay. And just look at all these yummy muffins you brought back with you. She gave birth to her litter on the mountain. Oh, sweetling, you're going to...
What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up. <sighs> well, that was, uh... <sighs> Sorry about that. Definitely rusty. No, you were... great. Thanks. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. All right, come along then. What is it this time? 
Well, they're gone now. Or what was left of them. Some Shinra troopers helped dispose of their remains. How they got in, however, remains unclear. But that's for someone else to figure out. We're still struggling with the loss of Mr. Murasaki. Shinra's created a refuge for those suffering from Mako poisoning. Here they can relax and recover in their own time. Though recently, some have up and left without a word. Which is frankly beyond me. I'm the manager of the manor only on paper. I know next to nothing about it. Records indicate it was built as a... Here, damn thing. So, case closed. No need for us to overstay our welcome. What are you doing? Be quiet. Listen. Uh, you hear something I don't? I feel it below us. Well, I don't feel anything. But you know this place better than we do. If you're willing to lead, we'll follow. What do you mean, we? <laughs> scared. Me? Scared? <laughs> yeah, I ain't been scared a day in my life. I was even voted bravest buddy back in the day. Of course you were. Man, this is ridiculous. That guy was convinced there's some kind of ghost in here. But I'm not buying it. I say we just turn around. Getting cold feet? Of course not. Besides, it wouldn't be our first paranormal encounter, like the Gi. They were ghosts, I think. to blame in part for the evils he's unleashed. I've had many opportunities to purge him from this world. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull the trigger. Don't beat yourself up. Oh? I don't know if you can kill him. And even if you could, I think he'd stick with you. Somehow. <laughs> Quite the rosy outlook. Wait. 
You're going to need my key card. It'll grant you access to the lower levels. up ahead. Can't proceed further until we complete the trial. Best of luck. Greetings and welcome, my lovely specimens. This asshole again? Today is your lucky day. You'll be participating in a series of combat simulations. Few are permitted to take part in mine. Be grateful for this honor. Well, without further ado, let us begin. I look forward to analyzing the data gleaned from your deaths. Messy as they'll be. You. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to make you regret it. Come on, get back in. Got a little. Don't stop me.
Not bad. What a fascinating outcome. Now then, on to the next. No time to celebrate. That is an intriguing result indeed. But let's see how you perform in the final trial. Ain't no limits we can't break! Ah! 
Now that was something else. Marvelous, you've cleared every trial. <laughs> I've created masterpieces yet again, I see. Without further ado, my dear specimens, let's proceed to Act Two. Let's go. mentioned some gal used to work here, but what exactly did she do? Whatever the good professor bade her, as their bodyguard, I was never made privy to the details of their research. Well, knowing that sick freak, I doubt he was up to anything good. And I bet that gal wasn't much better than him either. That's not true. Oof. Did I touch a nerve? Just stay quiet. You know, keep down. I knew you'd make it this far. Of course, not every participant does. Only the finest, the elite among you, survive. You should be very proud. I, for one, am delighted by your success. Where are you off to? To shut him up. As a token of my appreciation, I've prepared for you a gift. That's what we've all been hearing? You gotta be kidding me! Here it is, your final trial. You must face this feed in combat and emerge triumphant or die. Did our ghost. A monster. Tainted by Hojo's touch, no doubt. Why the singing, though? An outlet for stress, perhaps. An expression of displeasure. Despite their appearance, some fiends are capable of complex thinking and experiencing emotions. <laughs> right. Monsters got feelings. 
I know we ought to have mercy for all life, but you gotta draw the line somewhere. In any case, thanks for your help with the investigation. Don't stay too long.